Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I thank our friends of the ministry that have joined us as well. I am so excited about this 10-day prayer journey that we're on, this daily devotional. This is day number two, and we're praying through the model prayer. We're praying through the prayer that Jesus outlined for us to pray in Luke chapter 11, and today is day number two, and we're going to be praying again from Luke um, chapter 11 and verse 2. Uh, chapter 11 and verse 2 says, when you pray, say, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Today, we're going to pray about the part two of verse two, hallowed be your name. Amen. As Jesus is laying out our model for prayer, he helps us to address our prayer to our heavenly Father. And then he helps us to understand the awesomeness of our father, that his name is holy. Amen. So today we just want to pray about the holiness of God. And we want to just pray and thank God for his holiness, that he's righteous and holy um, at all times. Secondly, we want to pray and ask God to forgive us for our unholy behavior, that there are times when we don't behave like God's children. We don't obey him. And we're not holy as he's called us to be holy. And so we want to ask God's forgiveness for our unholy behavior. And then thirdly today, we want to pray and ask God for his help in us living holy for him and for his name. So that's our prayer outline for today. Let's go before the Lord uh, in our time of prayer. Amen. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you and praise you again today for this day that you have made. Lord God, we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Lord, we thank you for life and health and strength. We thank you, Lord, for just uh, putting roofs over our heads and clothes on our bodies and food on our table. Lord, we don't want to take any of your blessings for granted. And then, Lord, we, we just thank you for inviting us to pray and calling us to pray. You said that men and women ought to always pray. And Jesus, we thank you as well for your instruction in prayer. For we don't always know what we ought to pray for, but you have laid out for us an outline, a model for prayer in Luke chapter 11, and we're grateful for it. And Lord, today we, we just thank you for helping us to understand that our Father in heaven is holy and his name is holy. And so, Lord God, we just thank you for just your, your holiness. We thank you for how amazing and awesome you are, that you're righteous in all your ways. You never do anything wrong. You always do things right. You always do things on the right time and in the right way. And we just thank you for your righteousness and your holiness. We thank you, Lord, that in you, there is no blemish. There is no want wrong. There is no sin. There is no shadow of turning for you are God and you are all God and God all by yourself. We thank you, Lord, that you're the same yesterday and today and forevermore. And God, we can count upon your righteousness and you being righteous. So Lord, we thank you for your holiness. And God, even as we reflect and, and bask in your holiness, Lord, we, we recognize that, that we have not been holy. You told, told us, Lord, to be holy because you are holy. But Lord, we've fallen short of your glory. Lord, we've not done what you've asked us to do, Lord. We've not kept your commandments, Lord. We've, we've not kept the things that you told us to be sacred as sacred. And for that, Lord, we are godly sorry. And Lord, we just ask you right now in Jesus' name to forgive each of us, every one of us, for each and every one of our sins. We ask, we confess, Lord, that, that, that we've made mistakes in our thought life. We've made mistakes in our talking. We've made mistakes in our activities, Lord. And so we ask that the blood of Jesus would cover us right now in the name of Jesus. And not only that, Lord, we pray that you would help us to live holy this day, that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit, that you would lead us and guide us, that, that when we tempted, Lord, we would not fall into temptation, but you would deliver us from the evil one. We pray, Lord God, that uh, we would not be... Um, uh, slaves, the desires of our flesh, but Lord God, we would be followers of your Holy Spirit. Even as you fill us with the Holy Spirit, Lord, we ask you to 
to guide our thoughts, to guide our tongues, guide our activities, Lord, that all that we do today would be pleasing in your sight. For we recognize and we realize that hallowed be your name, that your name is holy, Jesus, that you are holy and we want to be followers of you. And so these things we ask, Lord, we, we need your help. We need you to help us to live out a life that honors you and that honors your name. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, we prayed uh, from Luke chapter 11 and verse 2. Hallowed be your name. Our God is holy. His name is holy. And apart from him, we cannot live holy. But he's given us his Holy Spirit um, to live within us and to lead us and to guide us. So I pray that we would lean and depend on him today for righteous and holy living. I love you in the Lord. I'm praying you're going to have a great day in him. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow as we continue our 10-day journey through the model prayer that the Lord lays out for us in Luke chapter 11. Have a wonderful day. I'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Be victorious. God bless.